What up? Hey, happy, happy Sunday. How are you today? Yeah, I'm about to make a couple of uh, follow-up calls for some rent-to-own tenant buyers. We got a house coming up available here in the next couple of weeks. So uh, we started the marketing for it so that we can attract a motivated buyer. Not a seller, but a buyer, a tenant buyer. This person would, uh, in our eyes, be preferred to have one with some type of a non-refundable option deposit or what they call a deposit or not even a deposit we call a down payment but I don't really call it either on paperwork I try to call it a non-refundable option consideration so that's what I'm about to do call a couple of people back see if they are interested in seeing this house today because um, I'm going to be showing it today around three o'clock to two people so this property is actually occupied right now but um, it's going to be vacant in the next few weeks. So I want to start marketing and get ahead of the power curve to see if we can get somebody in it. So what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? This is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke, Chris Monroe. And I'm right back at you with another real estate video. Today's video is being brought to you by WokeSkipTracing.com, your number one place for all of your skip tracing and phone number needs. Get the phone number and email address of people quickly, accurately, and as low as only 15 cents per match. WokeSkipTracing.com. That's WokeSkipTracing.com. What's up, what's up? She is Remem... What? She is Rima Brandy. What up, what up? What up, everybody? Real Estate Ron, what's up? You doing some deals or what? So yeah, so what I'm working on today, like I said, is I'm looking for a tenant buyer. And somebody left a voicemail here about 30 minutes ago. Let me see. Hi, my name is uh, Louis Menard. I'm calling about a property I saw on Zillow on the 4400 block of Compton. But uh, after listening to your recording there, uh, if you have other properties in the county, that would uh, do as well. Just give me a call back when it's convenient for you. Uh, phone number is 314 Oh, okay. So we're not doing that. Let me block his number. We don't want you trying to call him and bug nobody. So, um, yeah, so that was a voicemail. So basically how my system is set up, we mark it out and uh, we put out on all the sites, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, Facebook Groups, if we are in some Facebook Groups, um, Zillow. So we, we post the house or the property up that we want to sell on a lease option on those different sites we also put signs in the neighborhood signs in front of the property that has this phone number on it one specific phone number what's up rbg connect what up bro so yeah they got the uh we we, we, we market basically we market to attract somebody who would like to move into this property and then um they respond back when they respond back they go straight to a voicemail it's very important I do not take calls from these tenant buyers or these people that are looking to move into houses because they ask a lot of questions and they do a lot of calling. So I have a voicemail that gives a basic overview. Just basically says, if you're looking for a rent-to-own home, you've called the right place. We have houses all over the St. Louis area. Um, a down payment is required to move into any of our homes. Please leave your name, number, and any address or the area you want to be in. And we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Remember, it's rent to own. Because one thing, like I said, we put it on Zillow and all these different sites. Some people don't read. They just see a house. I like the house. I want the house. I got a Section 8 voucher. And I'm like, no, 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 no. We don't do no Section 8. Or they might say, oh, I want to rent it. No, 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 no. We do not do traditional rentals. We do rent to own lease options, which is a better exit strategy because it relieves me or us, the company, from all of the maintenance and repairs of the property and puts us in a position to where we're basically helping that person become a homeowner and provide home ownership to people who cannot necessarily qualify for a loan right now, but we get them to, to, to basically be able to get into the house. So that's just one of the ways, to, that's how basically the overview comes. So they go into the voicemail, they hear that basic overview of what we do, and then they leave a message like that message we just heard right there from Mr. Lewis. So I'm about to call him up. So if you learn anything on this video, anything about real estate, even by accident, or even about business, or even about life, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and give it a share. You can even share it right here on the Instagram page if you have to, or wherever you're going to be watching it in the future if it comes out somewhere else. Share if you care. All right? 
So let's see what Mr. Lewis is talking about. So the purpose for my call back to him is really one thing. Actually, let me do this too while I'm waiting because I didn't do this thing yet. So basically, like I said, they call in. They leave a voicemail. Hey, I saw a house you have, and I'm interested, basically, is what the voicemail will say. Something along those lines. So basically what I do when I hear that voicemail is I go into my system here, and we have a, a link already made up for properties. And I send that link over to that potential person that wants to buy. Because remember, they could have saw it on Zillow. They could have saw it on a sign. They could have saw it on Craigslist. They could have saw it anywhere. So I send them over this information. This says two bedroom house in South City available for rent to own. And it has a link. Now, when they go to that link, they see pictures, video, everything they need to know about the house. So, when I get on the phone with them, I'm not getting on the phone to talk about the house. Well, how many rooms is it? What's the square footage? All of that stuff is on a link. In fact, I can show you real quick, maybe. Let me see here. Show you real quick. So when I send them this link, that's what they'll see. They'll see pictures of the house, bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, a bunch of pictures down here, all that stuff, right? And then it's a video on there. It's a video walkthrough, so they don't have to ask anything. And then a basic little write-up, if you can see all of that, about the house. A basic little write-up. Let them know every, all the basics about the house. So like I said, when I get on the phone with them, I'm not on there to talk about you know the house itself I don't want to talk about specific houses my purpose for when I reach out to these people is to figure out how much they can come up with to put towards a down payment what's up Maxine what's up Jamie what's up Mike what's up Rima what's up Jermaine what up everybody Angel and T Christina what's up y'all so yeah CJ Allen what up so yeah Basically, um, uh, like I said, my callback right now is to, one, give them a basic overview again about how our program works, and two, try to position myself to figure out how much they can come up with to put towards a down payment. So let's see if we can get them on the phone real quick. Let's see if we can reach them. So I want to make sure to call him from the same number he called, because we got a phone system here with a lot of moving parts. So I can call from any number. we got about 20 different phone numbers, and this number is dedicated specifically for rent to own tenant buyers. Bonafide woman, what up? call him back later so because he can't call me back because like I said that phone number goes directly to a voicemail because we don't want to be taking a bunch of unnecessary calls let me see if there was anybody else in here that needed this call back rent to own tenant buyers okay uh, we got a couple people yesterday that said they had some money so let's see here Hi, this is Antonio. I had missed your call. My number well, is Antonio Hood. My number is 314. Hold on. That's somebody who left another voicemail already. Let's see. Hi, this is Antonio Hood. Uh, I was looking at the house on the South Campus. I never got a chance to go look at it on the inside or whatever. So you can call 314. Okay, so this guy wants to see that house, and he claims that he has 4000 down. So my virtual assistant already called this person back to see if they were interested in the property. And uh, so he had he says he has 4000 to put towards a down payment, which is more than enough because I'm not in the house for anything. I got this much tied up into this property. So whatever we get for a down payment goes in the hip pocket National Bank. That's how powerful this stuff is. Free money. So we want to get as much as possible, but we don't have to kill them. You know what I mean? We want to leave them a little bit of money. So let me see if this person here wants to view this property today. What's up, Behind the Lens TV?
Everybody at Chutch. Hip Pocket National Bank, your favorite. <laughs> cha -ching. What's up, TLC? Team level up? Oh, nobody has a phone there, huh? Please leave your... That's not. See, I just want to see... Because he already spoke to my assistant. I can let you hear what they said. Let's see how their phone call went. Probably long. Well, it's a two-minute phone call. I'll let y'all hear it anyway. This was him talking to my virtual assistant. Hello. Hi, Antonio. Uh, this is Christine. You left us a voicemail. Mm -hmm. Um, earlier, since I tried to call you, uh, I spoke to... I'm not sure. The, the one that has a six... My six, wife. Six, nine, yeah, your wife. Okay. Um, it yeah. was about the rent-to-own program, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so, um... I just want to let you know how the program works. Is this a good time to talk? Yeah. Okay, great. So, um, Antonio, as you know, it is a rent tone program, so around um, a down payment is um, required to move into any of our homes. So we have house over the St. Louis area, and that down payment goes 100% towards the purchase price of the home. So you will then have a monthly payment for a period of time, but you would eventually have to either qualify for a loan from the bank or get some type of private financing because what we do is a lease option, so you have an option to buy, but the down payment is required. So about how much can you put towards the down payment? Yeah, about 2500 2500 huh? 2500 okay. Well, that amount is more like a rental deposit. So we do not do traditional rentals. Well, so, how much you talking about? Uh, if you can come up for at least uh, four to 5000 we really don't give out any down payment amounts. We just ask for something reasonable. She changed my script. Four thousand. Mm -hmm. Okay. I had twenty five hundred. So, I got four thousand. Um, you can the the house that um, you qualify for is the one at South Compton. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to send you. I don't want that one. I don't want that one. Oh, so he don't even want the house. Other houses that's available right okay. as of the moment. Well, good thing that guy didn't ask her because he didn't even want that house. He already seen it before. Okay, I thought it was something because I'm looking in here. I'm like, he had a lot of activity going all the way back to December of 2019. He's been looking for a house. We haven't found him a house that he likes yet. So he went from saying I got 2,500 to saying I got 4,000. So I don't know. Were you lying in or you lying out? That's the thing about having all calls recorded for quality and training purposes. And I don't know if you saw my video from yesterday talking about virtual assistants and things like that. This is one of my virtual assistants over in the Philippines. She screens most of these calls. I just do some sometime if I get a chance like today. So I'm trying to call somebody else to see. So that guy here, he already saw that house and he didn't want that one. He needs something bigger. He needed some with, I think, four or five bedrooms. They got a lot of babies. Because I've been really wanting babies so I could see a part of me that wasn't always shaving. Just my lady. Exactly. We never supposed to name our amount. We want down. Just the most the renter can afford. Exactly. She changed my script. And that's why I be recording the calls. And every once in a while, I go back and listen. So when we have our meeting tomorrow, I'll be addressing that. Do not stop saying those numbers. I know it's hard. To say we asked for something reasonable. In fact, we have a full script. That everything she just said is already broken down, outlined, and on there nowhere, nowhere on there does it say anything about four to five thousand down. She changed my script. I don't know why, or what got into her, or what, but we're gonna address that tomorrow. <laughs> spanking. <laughs> we ain't doing no spanking, but yeah, she was never supposed to say that. So let me see if I can call this other guy back again. This is Leonard guy. If he answers, because I actually, the only reason I want to call him back to see if he's interested in it, one, and two, if he, wanna, if he got a down payment, and then three, I want to see if he want to see it today, because like I said, I'm showing this house today around three. So that's why I'm trying to make sure there are no loose ends of people we didn't speak to that may have enough to need to go see this house today since I'm showing it. What's up, Kenny? She was never supposed to say no number. We don't say numbers, we ask questions.
people at church? I thought it was I'm on sorry, quarantine. But the person who called has a voicemail box that has not been... I don't know about him. He ain't even called back yet. So I guess if uh, he called back, we'll reach him. Because that guy has gone to this person that just called this morning. He only called about, what, 40 minutes ago. So I thought he would be near the phone. Maybe not. And then let me see about who is this. That guy is coming tomorrow or today. I keep saying tomorrow, but it's today. Today's Sunday, right? Yeah, Sunday. Sunday. Any other? Did y'all have any questions about anything you're working on while I look up another number here? Any questions? Who is this Sherry person? Hi, this is Sherry and Dorothea Ellis. We were looking into your um, house program on 4450 South Compton. If you can, give us a call back at 314. Okay, so that's somebody right there. Did they get the text message? Nope. I'm going to send it to them right now. Boom. And I'm going to call Miss Sherry. This somebody who called. looked like yesterday as well. But they never answered the phone. I always answer a question with a question. Now you're talking my talk right there. You know it. Wouldn't you agree? Would you say the same? <laughs> Let's see if she'll answer. Nobody like to answer. It's like cold calling. Hell. I feel like I'm cold calling. I might as well be on a dollar. <laughs> How you gonna leave a message? They call you back and don't answer. What kind of a foolery is that? Please leave your message for. Sure. Sure. Or whatever she just said. She won't answer. So skip her. I see there's a couple others in here too. It's a lot of numbers in here. A lot of moving parts. Charles. Who is this person? Uh, she. He got spoken to, and I guess he didn't have any money. How you doing, sir? My name is Charles Dawson. I was calling because me and my mom were looking at your place on 4450 South Compton Avenue, 63111. Tell me my whole uh, address. I know that's right. In the ad, I'm on hot pads, and it said 750 a month, two bedroom, and we're looking to move in as soon as possible. But um, um, I want to set up a viewing if possible so I can see it. So, yeah, so I'm going to play what their call went by. Cause she looked like she spoke to him for three minutes yesterday around 3.30. And uh, evidently he didn't have no money because I tell them when they do call him back and find out how much somebody has to put towards a down payment to put it on their name. He don't have any number on his name, so he must have not have no money. Oh, Hi, good afternoon. Well, this is Christine, and we got your message earlier that you were interested in our rent-to-own program. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and what was your name, please? Uh, Charles Dawson. I'm oh, sorry, I couldn't hear. One more time, please. Uh, Charles Dawson. Charles. Dawson's Creek. Yes, ma'am. Well, we already heard okay, the so intro Charles part. We're going to start about here. I was, I was saying yes, ma'am. I was listening. Oh, okay. So, as you know, it is a rent home program, and a down payment is required to move into Trying a to fast forward some of it. house is over the St. Louis area. You got a lot of fuzz in there. And that down payment goes 100% towards the purchase price of the home. Let me skip this ahead. And fire it. So, about how much uh, can you put towards the down payment? I'm looking for I would room. have to, do, to try a program and see if I qualify to do that. I'm sorry? Yes, I thought it was like, don't have to try a program to see if I qualify to do that. I thought it was like, like... Oh, a rental like, property? Should, yeah, I thought it was just like a oh, regular okay. rental property. I see. We do not do any rentals, uh, traditional rentals. So how would I, how would I qualify? How would a I down payment will qualify you, fool. We need to know how much you can come up for a down payment. Trishana, what's up? Twice the, twice the rent. Yeah, well, what we actually do or how the program works is uh, you you apply for the house. Why well, is all that fuzz in that phone? Good night. The program is set up to where you can take a look at the house. You can apply for the house. Let me house. skip ahead. Sorry. So so what would be reasonable to you for it? Um, you need to tell us first how much you can come up so that we can see if you could qualify for it. So you, we, we wouldn't know. As he got all her you flustered. Do right now. About two, about two thousand. Two thousand. She got a number out of it. Mm -hmm. that, that amount is more like a rental deposit. 
Um, just them. That's just what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm sorry. I said that's what I'm saying. It's like I would have to, cause I that's what I thought it was. I would have to like see, like how do I go about seeing get some money and put it down, fool? If he could come up for at least four to five thousand, she doing it again. See, yeah. You think you can come for that now? Uh, no, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I do. So, say he got $2,000 to put towards a down payment. Um, so, yeah, he said, and I wouldn't put anybody in the house for 2000 Usually, I try to be three grand on the low end, but I really don't even like going that low. But like I said, for this particular property, I'm in it for $0. So, whatever I get from somebody goes in that hip pocket national bank. And we're good to go. You might need to hire him as a VA. He asked the questions and went silent. <laughs> exactly. He started saying, well, I got at least you got a number out of them, 2000 but that ain't enough. He can come up with some more money. See, so what I say on the script, if somebody say 2000 uh, you know, 2000 is more of like a rental deposit, and we don't do traditional rentals. Um, is that the most you can come up with? That's how she should have said it. That's what my script says. So evidently, she kind of deviated off the script. That's what she should have said right there. Is that the most that you can come up with? And let him say what he can say. Well, that's all I got. Instead of trying to say, yeah, four to five grand or whatever she just said to him. So, you know, that's why I say these calls are recorded so we can see what the heck is going on. And uh, see if we can help these other jokers out. Let's see. Who is this? It's another person here. Hi, my name is right? Um, yes, I'm looking, I'm interested in, uh, the rental uh, home. Um, if you could give me a call at 314. Okay, so this lady called too yesterday. Yeah, there's many people calling. That's why I go to voicemail, because we get like, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 calls a day, and I'm not answering all those phone calls, not like that. Somebody going to have to um, leave a voicemail, and we'll get back to you at our convenience. That's why it's so important to have good systems set up in your business, so you're not overworking yourself, overworking your employees, or whatever you're doing, because it's probably, um, let me see something here. A good system can help you. I will probably go by because I have stuff there. Okay. That's for that showing today at 3 o'clock. Um, so this lady I'm about to call now. Let's see if I can reach her. What she said her name was? What her name is? Hi, my name is Anetta Gethaway. Anetta? I don't know. Who knows? I'm going to call her anyway. So let's see if we can get her to answer since people don't like to answer today. One to connect to three one four. These people never answer. Usually don't have that much trouble reaching people back. They leave a message normally. I'm you have reached the voicemail box of three one four three two four. Yeah, so that's not an answer. We're gonna skip ahead. Let's see here. Who was after this lady? Uh, let's see. Sherry Chong, Angela. Who is Angela? Yep, she spoke to somebody. Tamika. She spoke to somebody. Brizziel, what kind of name is that? A person that never answers. Let's see what our original voicemail said. Yes, hello, my name is Daniel Brizzi. Daniel. Five seven three. Daniel. Dan, I was I noticed on Zillow your your property at forty three fifty South Compton. Um, kind of looking in uh, near South Side of downtown. Um, and South Side South City. Uh, but I want to stay up in the city. Uh, again, my number is 573-522. He did all that. And then he didn't answer two times when she tried to call him back yesterday. I guess I'll try to call him today. Even though he ain't going to answer, I'm sure. Today, ain't nobody won't answer. I'm finna get off here in about the uh -huh. Hi, yes, uh, Daniel? Yes. 
Hi, yes, this is Chris. You had called uh, in regards to one of our rent-to-own homes. I was giving you a call back so I can let you know how our program works. Did I catch you at a good time? Yes, you're fine. So, yes, yeah, so basically uh, our program is a rent-to-own program, as you might have saw online or wherever you saw it. At. Um, a down payment is required to move into any of our homes. Now, 100% of that okay. down payment goes towards the purchase price of the home. You then have a monthly payment that you would make for a period of time, but you would eventually have to either qualify for a loan from the bank or get some type of private financing because what we do is a lease option. You have an option to buy, however, the down payment is required. About how much do you think you can come up with to put towards a down payment? Well, it depends. I'm still looking at houses. So, uh, the, one, the one that I have looked at, I'm not interested in anymore. Um, so, you know, I, I, I don't know. It depends on the value of the house neighborhood, all of that. You yeah. Understand? yeah, so we get houses all over the St. Louis area. We get them just about every other week or so. And we get them sometimes in the county, sometimes in the city. We get them all over. So um, that's why we just ask, uh, you know, about how much you think you can come up with to put towards a down payment. Um, well, I probably five. About 5000 Okay, and you said you want to be yeah. in the South City area. Is that the area you want to be in? Uh, not necessarily. I, I said South City, but I did. I, I meant something different than what you guys would think. Well, um, we get houses all I mean, over, like, so we, you know, we get houses all over. So you know, South City, North County, anywhere, we get them all over St. Louis. So that's why I want to put in the notes here what, what area you're looking in, so that we can, uh, if we do come across some, we can. So like south of I-44, I don't really want to be in Bevo Mills or Dutchtown. Um, but, you know, uh, so the city itself. Okay, no problem. So I'll put that in the notes here. If we get something like that in the next couple of weeks, we'll uh, contact you back and send you the information for it, okay? I appreciate it. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Um, bye. Well, at least he got five grand. We just don't have a house for him right now. So there you go. We got somebody with 5000 trying to find a house. He don't want that particular house, but he might want another one. We got some others in the pipeline coming up. That's why it's so important to continuously be marketing. You got to keep marketing because the demand is 100 times bigger than the supply. I got a couple people with ten grand ready to find a house. We can't get them a house yet. So I got to step up our marketing to find more houses to match them with buyers because they got money to move in them. Is that crazy or what? So that's why people always ask, yeah, do you uh, market all the time to find buyers? I'm like, I got too many buyers. We always got more buyers than houses because I guess we don't get enough houses. How long do you give them until they have to get a conventional loan? That's all negotiable. Usually a year, year and a half, two years, all of that stuff's negotiable. Only thing we put out is a purchase price. After that, we uh, let them take a look at a house. If they got a reasonable down payment, they like the house, then they will apply for the house. A lot of application on that application it says how much down, how much the most they can pay a month, and uh, you know other little basic stuff like that. Um, and then we do the application, do their background check. If they like the house, they apply for the house, they want the house. We set up a closing using a couple of days. It only take two, three days, and they're in the house. You know, it don't take long if they like the property, but they gotta like it. If they don't like the property, all the rest of this don't mean nothing. So that's, that's why we're trying to match it with. One, you got a reasonable down payment. Two, you like whatever house we're pushing at that time. If not now, the next one will come out next week or the week after. And if not, you know, that's it. These are all subject to deals. Some of them. Uh, this house was bought on a wrap. So, yeah, we have some of them we buy on a wrap, some we buy on a sub two. Uh, we have... Let's see, two lease options, sandwich lease options. But I try not to do it that way if I can help it. I'd rather get the ownership because I want the write-off for the taxes and things like that. Because I make a lot of income. I have several businesses, and I need the real estate passive income and stuff to wash out my taxes. Wash out my taxes. I don't want to pay none. I want to be like Trump. Don't pay no tax. Be like number 45 and stay alive. What I got here? About five minutes. Any other questions or anything about anything else? Let's see here. Did this lady just call back? 11.40. Oh, yeah, she just called me back. Hi, I'm sorry. This is Sherry. I was on a gift with people calling you. I had called about the appointment on uh, 
So this is the same lady, the one we called a little bit ago that didn't answer. So like I said, that number goes straight to a voicemail, so we always have to call them back at our leisure. And right now is my leisure for the next four minutes. So let's get her on the phone and see if she's home. So you know what I'm going to do when I get on the phone with her, right? To turn, tell her a little bit about our program, how it works. That's basic overview. Two, we're trying to determine how much they have to come up with to put towards a down payment. And then three, if, if they've seen the house, they want to go see the house, they like the house, let's get them in the house and move them along in the process. So it's a step-by-step -step process, keeps us organized, keeps us away from people who don't have a down payment because we can't do nothing for them. Weed them out real early. You see, that's the first question I ask. We get rid of them. Uh, we're not dealing with no Section 8 vouchers, no regular rentals, and none of that other stuff. It's all specifically our program works like this. Do you want to come into our program? So let's see here. Let's see if we can get her on the phone. And I see your questions there. I'm going to answer those questions for you as soon as this phone call ends. If this video helps you out, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a share. Just one to connect to green one for thumbs up, thumbs up, up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hi, uh, Sherry. Hi, Hi, yes, this is Chris. Uh, you had called about one of our rent-to-own homes. I was giving you a call back so I can let you know how our program works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically, as you know, it's a rent-to-own program. A down payment is required to move into any of our homes. Now, we get houses all over the St. Louis area, and, uh, you know, that, that down payment, 100% of that goes towards the down payment of the home or the purchase price of the home, and then you would have a monthly payment that you would make for a period of time, but you would eventually have to either qualify for a loan from some bank or get some type of private financing because what we do is a lease option. You have an option to buy, but the down payment is required. About how much do you think you can come up with to put towards a down payment? Okay, so is this the requirement for forty-four fifty-five dollars uh, that may be one. Of, yeah, that's one of the ones that are available right now. But like I said, we get houses all over town. Uh, what do you think you can come uh -huh. up with to put towards a down payment? Uh, how much? I mean, what, how much do I have to put down? Yeah. So basically, um, the more you put down, the lower your monthly payments could possibly be, as well as better terms. We just ask for something reasonable. So you know, it doesn't. You know, we don't have any particular number or anything. We try to make the the program tailored to the individual to make sure you know it's something you can uh, handle. What do you think you can come up with? Um, so, I mean, so how much? How much is the rental property? I, I, I know if I can. I want to try to see if I can at least put something down on it. Not less, but you know, I don't know. You know I mean, we're two of us right now that we're trying to rent. So yeah, the purchase price of the house is fifty nine thousand nine hundred. I also sent you a text message with all of the basic information in regards to that property. So it has pictures, videos, stuff like that, walkthrough, everything you want to know about that particular house is on that link I texted you. But wow. like I said, we get houses all the time. So even if that house works for you or it doesn't work for you, uh, that's why we ask what you can come up with to put towards a down payment because we can send you more houses. Um, in the future, if some come up, they may fit your criteria. Ooh, so that's a lot to try to match. What's, um, a, what's a lot? Huh? What is a lot? That's a lot to first, I mean, to even, you know, to buy off the house. So, yeah, so like I said, we get houses just about every other week. That's just one house uh -huh. out of many that we get all the time. So that's why we ask that uh -huh. question. Oh, that's a lot. I mean, right now we don't we don't even make twenty seven. Well, we probably make about at least probably maybe two thousand between the both of us. So you say you think you can come up with about two thousand to put so towards the down payment? Two thousand. No, we make two thousand just for the you know probably both of us. Yeah, I'm not asking what you're making. I'm asking what do you think you can come up with to put towards a down payment? So how much? How much do I, I mean just? Something in our price range. Price, so I mean, what a thousand to go towards it or something. So yeah, so the number one qualifier or disqualifier for any of our properties is the down payment. Mm -hmm. 
if you don't have a right. down payment, uh, we don't have anything for you. If you do have something reasonable, we probably could get either this house for you or we might find another house in the next week or so. So okay. that's why we asked so that question. If we put down, if we put down, so we put down, put down the down payment and pay the money, and we got to pay the back, the back rent and the uh, before rent. Like no, no ma'am. Well. No, no, ma'am. So yeah. the down payment goes towards the purchase price of the home. You then have a monthly okay. payment that you would make for a period of time going into the future until okay. you eventually go and get some type of mortgage or some type of private financing and cash that property out at that time and get your own right. mortgage. So this just helps you get okay. into a house where you can get settled, stable, and eventually, you know, buy the house. Okay. Right. So we put down the down payment and then we pay like the first month mortgage rent on rent or whatever and then you have to find someone that uh basically give us a loan to pay off the house. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. So about how much you think you can come up with to put towards a down payment? Um well, I'm gonna have to see probably a thousand. We might have to put at least a thousand down. We put up both of those. Okay, so what I would say is, uh, I would say come up with a little bit more. Uh, I would say come up with about $3,000 or more, and then just check back with us and see what houses we have available, because like I say, we get houses all the time. All right? Have a good day. All right. Hey, that, that's how you know nobody, they, that she didn't have no money. See, I just stretched that out long for y'all, because I know y'all watching like, what? What she say? How much a month? She asking all these dumb questions. And I shouldn't call them dumb. All these questions, when I, you never answered my first question. When she dodged it the first time, I knew something was fishy. She dodged it the second time, it got a little fishier. She dodged it the third time, I knew we were smelling fish at that point. She dodged that question like it was not there. And then came out to say she only had a 1000 so she don't have enough to put towards a down payment. Not ready. That was good, though. Yeah. So let me go back. Let me see if I can answer y'all questions. Uh, how do you market for these buyers? We market on Zillow, Craigslist, Facebook, OfferUp, LetGo, HotPash, Trulia, all of the sites. Anywhere we can post it up. Facebook groups, rental groups, because it's a rent to own. We market everywhere we can. Signs. Signs work better than most of the other. I shouldn't say most, but signs do work because you're actually getting people that are in the neighborhoods and they know the neighborhood because they're driving through to even see the sign. So you're getting people that live in the community. Hey, yeah, my cousin looking for a place over here. Hey, yeah, my uncle looking for a place over here. Hey, yeah, big mom and them need to move into another house. There you go. So signs work. Rent to own sign with an arrow on it with a phone number and they leave a voicemail. So that's how we market for those buyers. Uh, let's see here. Ron says he mainly does wraps instead of subject twos. What source have you used to get intel about doing wraps on property? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, subject two is not necessarily the best way to purchase a house because it gives the seller no recourse in the event that you decide to default. They can never foreclose on you. It's basically they just gave you the house. They gave their house away. They have no rights and they kept the debt in their name. So subject to, you know, we're, we're buying a house subject to the existing financing and, um, you know, the financing stays in place with the original seller. The deed to the house transfers to the new owner. So subject to necessarily is not the best way to purchase a house. It's best to buy it on a wrap because it gives the seller some type of protection in the event you default. They can go and foreclose on you. Or they can possibly go get another loan. They can go qualify for another loan because they have a document, a note, a promissory note that shows that, yes, there's income coming in to wash out that debt-to-income ratio. So hopefully that answered your question. Good question there. Uh, where are you listing your properties? I just answered that. Uh, not really. That was good, though. How do you reach out to sellers on Facebook? Do I message them? Sellers? Um, I don't necessarily reach out to sellers on Facebook unless we can't reach them. We can, but you just send them a message just like it would be a text message. Yes, I'm trying to reach the owner of 123 Woke Street. Uh, I don't know if I have the right person or not, um, but we're interested in buying it. Am I reaching the right person? Are you interested in selling? You know, everything you do, you want to end it with a question because that helps you keep the conversation going. Plus, you know the rule. He who asks the questions is in control of the conversation. So you want to maintain control of your conversation by asking good questions, potentially up to 50 questions or more if you're talking about a seller. 50 questions or more is what I say. All right? So hope that helps you out there. Hip square knit. Any other questions, comments, concerns before I get up out of here and do some more woke stuff? Don't forget, we're going live on Monday night, 7 o'clock Central Time, 8 o'clock Eastern. We're going to be chopping it up with Ron Rana this week. 
Then we're on the next week with Willie Coleman. Then we're on the next week with uh, the fire damage king, Elijah Rubin. Then we're on the next week with Ms. Law Clerk on Demand talking about probates. And we're on the next week after that with Mobile Home Elite Investors talking about mobile home investing. So that's the Chris Monroe Show each and every Monday night, 7 o'clock Central Time, 8 o'clock Eastern. If you want to be notified of when we go live, all you got to do is text JV to 31996. Just text that keyword, text JV to 31996, and that will get you the uh, free joint venture agreement, and it will get you on the notification list so you'll be notified of when we go live. All right? So hopefully you have the rest of your day good. I'm going to watch some mobile home training right now, as a matter of fact. I think Propelio Academy is about to do some free training today at noon, and it's about noon. So I'm about to get up out of this room, all right? So like I said, if this video provided you any type of value, be sure to give it a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a share. If you learned something even by accident, even if you didn't learn nothing, give it a thumbs up. I don't care. Leave a smart comment. If you're watching the replay, do that for me. All right? Smart out of comment. I love the comments. I read them all. So do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me. Today's broadcast is being brought to you by WokeSkipTracing.com. Look up phone numbers and email addresses with ease, with pricing as low as only 15 cents per match. Not per search, per match. If there's no number or email address, you don't pay. Get accurate data in just minutes. WokeSkipTracing.com. That's WokeSkipTracing.com.